Okay, hello, and welcome to this small tutorial um, which is going to be dealing with basic colour correction for commentators. Um, this isn't going to be getting into any sort of hardcore montage editing, that sort of thing. I'm going to be only really talking about increasing the sort of output from your generic comm video as a few small tweaks can really go a long way into making your video look a lot nicer. Um, so we're going to start off in iMovie, got this clip sent in by XTLWZ who um, kindly donated his clip of a PP90 beastly spray for me to use in this. So I'm just going to preview it to start with. Now as you can see, um, that's quite loud, um, it's unfortunately Call of Duty has quite a bland colour palette. It's greys, browns, and that's about it, to be honest. Um, I've never really been impressed with them. Black Ops took a step in the right direction, but then quickly turned back around. So, we're going to try and improve it. So, in iMovie, we're going to go to the inspector for video adjustments. So we're going to click on this little gear, I guess it is. Um, video adjustments. And then this screen's going to come up. This is the inspector. This way you control all the attributes of your video. So, um, the main thing I like to boost is contrast. That's the difference between the darkest darks and the whitest whites. And it's really going to help um, make your image pop and make it a bit more dynamic. So, all you have to do is grab the slider, move it up. Uh, I usually pick around 50% as that's just um, my personal preference. Obviously, it's up to you what you pick. Um, everyone likes their videos to look slightly different. Um, for example, Thunder has quite a, a highly saturated image, which is this, which is going to affect how much color is in the image. So if you're going to drag this down, as you can see, it's going black and white. That's because it's taking out a lot of the color information. If, on the other hand, you drag it the other way, maybe up 60%, it's going to boost the colours. So these greens up here in the grass are going to look greener. The reds are going to look redder. Now you can see down here in the shadow it's going a bit purple. Now that's, um, that's colour damage, if you like, in the image because it's the computer is artificially adding this colour. So there's going to be little glitches and little bits that aren't going to look as nice. Um, so if we, that took seconds, if we preview that now, um, you can see already that's looking a lot nicer, a lot, um, cleaner and, um, I think it's just nice to look at, to be honest. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, jump over to Premiere Pro, um, which is the more high-end option, that, very similar to After Effects as well. So what I say here will apply to After Effects. Okay, so I've got my clip in the timeline. I'm going to go to Video Effects. What? Oh, sorry. Video Effects. I'm going to come down to Color Correction. Brightness Contrast. And you're going to drag it from here, click and hold, drag onto your clip. Very simple. You want to boost that contrast, uh, maybe 20 percent, 20%, 25, and maybe a bit of brightness. So there we go. Took seconds as well, and there's more contrast. We've not got any saturation though, and unfortunately, there's no real simple way of doing it in Premiere. Um, there are some built-in ways of doing it, like the color corrector, um, which is personally what I would use, but um, they get pretty complicated. It's not something really for beginners, I would say. Um, you, you are welcome to mess about with that sort of thing. Um, and if you've got it, um, in Boris Continuum Pro, there's a saturation Boris Continuum 7, There's, there is actually this saturation plugin which is very handy, very very simple. Just going to boost that saturation maybe 20% again. 
play this. That's looking better already. Um, so just as very similar to iMovie, same principle, just carried out differently. And uh, it's really going to improve the quality of your videos for the end user. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'll, I'm going to render out two um, quick playthroughs, one with a color correction, one without. And uh, you can be the judge of which one's better for maybe, what, 15 seconds before you render the clip. All you have to do is quickly put in some color correction and it's done. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, this has been Charlie or Chazadude. Um, thank you. Advanced UAV online.